Nia Simone, welcome. Hi. <laughs> All right, uh, first I want you to tell everybody about yourself just a little bit. Um, I'm Nia, obviously, Nia Simone. I'm 24, I'm in the Army, I love music, I'm just a typical 20-year-old girl, having fun. Where are you from? Michigan. What part? Ypsilanti. Okay. Mm -hmm. What made you join the Army? Um... Women. Oh, I, w I didn't want to pay for school no more. So big facts. <laughs> I wanted to get out, and I wanted to get out of Michigan as well. My dad was in the army. My mom was in. So I guess it was my time. Did you consider uh, any other branches besides the army? The Air Force, but I really wanted to go to the army. So why? Mm, more options. So I have a question about the army. Mm -hmm. uh, well, first, what's your job? I'm a vet, 68 Romeo. And do you enjoy uh, doing that? Yeah, it's boring as well. I mean, I'm a vet and a food inspector, so I do both. How does it feel being in a male-dominant industry, you know, like the military? Like, women, of course, there's women here, mm -hmm. but y'all are the minority, you know, when it comes to people. It's intimidating a little bit, I would say. Very competitive. We're not always looked upon as, like, the strongest as being a female, a little more on the male side and things. Um, equally, like, equal. Equally, we're not treated, I don't think we're treated the same, but that's just my opinion on how we don't get the same opportunities as male soldiers do. Have you seen that firsthand? Yes, I have actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me. I, I was always in competition, I'm not gonna lie. I was, when I was in Germany, I felt like I was always kind of in competition with um, my other battle buddy, so he, it was like just me and him at the duty station, and he was all looked upon as like, okay, the great soldier, this and that, and I was kind of looking, I was like, okay, whatever, hey. he's just a regular soldier, even though we did the same thing. Do you plan on staying 20 years? No. So you plan on getting out at the FO? Um, I'm already at four. I hit four on the thirty first. Oh right, you had a okay. You had a first duty station in Germany. Yeah, I was there for three years, and I came here. So I just reenlisted. So I get out now. How many years? Two years. So oh. Twenty twenty two. Okay. If yeah, I should be done. You say you should be done. Yeah. So it's not set in stone yet. <laughs> no, but it is. What depends will, on how far I get in my school. Do you think there's a such thing as as pretty girl privilege? Yes. Explain to me. Explain to me, in your opinion, and your experience, what that is. In my experience, okay, I'm not going to say I'm ugly, but someone is going to, if your face is like the part, like you see someone's face, so. Right. If you're pretty, they're going to look at you before they look at someone that's not presentable, if you know what I mean. Okay. I would say. I say I get a lot of privileges because I'm pretty. Air quotes? I mean, yeah. Okay. But. I think we do get a lot more opportunity and looked upon as better when we are pretty. I think it's almost like human nature yeah. to just like kind of mm -hmm. help out the pretty girl more. Right. When know? I was waitressing, like a pretty face was like, okay, well, you're always on the schedule. You're on the floor. You're not mm -hmm. in the back. You're in the front where everyone can see you. You're the face of what you're presenting. So I could I could definitely say that is definitely a thing. Oh, you got a YouTube channel? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> okay, uh, tell the people what's the name of your YouTube channel and what it's about. Um, my YouTube channel name is Nia Simone. That's my name, my first and middle name. Um, I wanted to do a channel based on stuff that people don't usually talk about, like relationships, sex, um, gossip, just everything that people aren't normally like comfortable talking about publicly. Okay. So, um, and I can't do makeup or hair, so like I can't, I can't do no YouTube channel on that. So I was like, no tutorials. Yeah, I can't do no tutorials on that. So let me just do something that I think I'm good at. So hopefully it rises up, but I'm still working on it. Who was uh, some of your inspirations that um, that kind of made you want to start a YouTube channel besides your own? I wasn't even a YouTuber, like, at all, before I even started YouTube, and I wasn't watching YouTube videos, like, at all, I just started, I just thought about, it. maybe I should just record myself, and jumped into it. It took me a minute to get into it, it took me, like, five months to do it. It's not too long, though. Yeah. It's not no, bad. It's not too long. Nah. 
But for me, I'm more of like a go-getter type thing. So if I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Right. So, um, yeah, I was just like, all right, I'm going to give it a try. And if I do good, if I fail, Fuck it. what it is, yeah. Um, the first time you got in front of a camera, were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. I was nervous. Yeah, like when you're in front of that camera and it's just you, that's yeah. that's different. That's why I'm behind the camera. <laughs> I, I want look, y'all the stars. <laughs> for real, for real. I don't like being in front of the camera like that. Yeah, I was definitely nervous recording my um, channel, but I get I got more comfortable as it went through. Okay, uh, the friend zone video, mm -hmm. and uh, you kind of touched on flirting a little bit in that video. And I'm gonna link this to you know you being in the army, you know how is it when uh, somebody you work with or multiple men you work with you know make passes at you at work? I haven't really had that experience. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't really talk at work. I, I keep it. I keep my personal life and my work life like totally separate. But um, no, I never really had no experience with, like. People try in my in my actual company trying to flirt with me, but I get yeah. like outside, like people trying to flirt with me. Okay. Um, you can tell when someone's like trying to get to know you more than just soldier wise. They right. To get more on the personal side. Right. But yeah, I never really had no experience like inside my. I don't because first of all, I don't eat where I shit. I don't do that. That's a. I don't do that. That's that's messy. That's messy. So. <sighs> that's smart. That's definitely smart. <laughs> So, yeah, you gotta I see that person all the time. Per, um, things separated. Okay. So, flirting in general. What's the line between this guy's flirting with me and I'm being harassed? Like, what's the line? Like, what's what's that breaking point for you where you like, alright, this is going um, a, a different way? If I'm saying no a lot, like, that should be like okay you need to chill out um right. the breaking point is when i've had a couple um uh, i have a couple stories like people just keep going and going and going i had to block numbers um, what's something that like what's something that guys say where you know it went from flirting to he's not gonna leave me alone oh i think the signs for me is when they like keep texting me like and I'm not responding or double triple yeah like it's like going days and I'm not responding they keep saying hey hello how you doing just having a whole conversation with theyself in my message thread or their message thread so pretty nuts huh yeah I've had a couple of those mm. yeah well, I was going to ask you about friend zone and you know, people you work with, but since you haven't had that experience, we're going to move on. <laughs> I, wa I watched your body count video. Okay. And uh, I do agree with you. You know, body count doesn't matter to me because we all, you know, like you said, it's practice mm -hmm. pretty much. Uh, but do those, so if body count doesn't matter to you, do those particular bodies matter? Like... If the guy that you're interested in, you find out that yes, he has a high body count, mm -hmm. but some of those bodies may be people that you that have that you have ran into, or that you uh, may run in similar circles with, or maybe your friends. Does that change things? It does. It does. How? Um, because I don't want someone that everyone has like that I know has been with. Because if I don't know you, okay, and you had a past before that, but if I know you and you've been with people I know, right? Okay, now you, everybody knows you <laughs> for the team. You know what I'm saying? But um, I mean, I mean, is he for the team? I mean, he. If he didn't get know around, that, if he didn't know you was on the team, he get around. I mean, if you, if you, if I know them and you mess around with them, first of all, I'm not even gonna talk to them if they, if I knew people that messed around with him. Like right. I'm not gonna take it to that part anyway. But I have been with someone who um I didn't know that they was with all these people until so after the fact and so it, it kind of changed like okay wow I'm like whatever but then it, the relationship got deeper so I kind of like looked past it a little more so at that point it was too late to be like okay well so if a guy that you mess with you find out he slept with one of your friends it's a done daughter yeah damn if it was like a close friend it wouldn't even got that far because me and my friends, we like this. We know 
who you know each other been with. Like we, mm. we check before like any of that. You so gotta we check. Even, we wouldn't even break that girl code. Like that's messed up. You, first of all, you gotta check. Yeah. Like I tell my guys now, like whenever they, you know what I'm saying, start feeling it, I'm like, you gotta send it to the group chat so mm -hmm. I can, you know what I'm saying? Cause I've been I've been in Washington for three years. Oh yeah. So that's you know, cool. Washington small, low key. Is it? Um, well, I'm gonna say the Tacoma, Lakewood area yeah. is small, and. I get that. I get that. I watched your video with the pet peeves. Okay. And um, <laughs> and one of and one of y'all pet peeves. I can't remember which one it was. Mm -hmm. Who said it? But it was controlling. Okay. Yeah. I, I know that's my friend Peaches. Okay. What Kendra? Let me not call it Peaches. What shit? Shout out to Kendra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or Peaches. No. So, what are some of the do's and don'ts? When, if, if if you are a wife or girlfriend and you're going out with your girlfriends to the club, mm -hmm. what are some of do? What are some of the do's and don'ts? I would say so. If I'm going out with my girls, yep. and my dude is at home. Obviously, I'm not gonna do no crap that's gonna be cheating wise. But if y'all with your girls have fun with your girls, I'm not gonna say like go out and do some reckless ass stuff. Okay. But um. Some dues. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get approval for what I'm wearing out because you know if you have a theme, if you have a woman, I'm not gonna say female because you said I say it too much. So now no, no, no. I, I, I was just pointing <laughs> okay, out. Okay, <laughs> but um, if you can't handle a girl and what she wear, then you don't need to be with her. Obviously, that's what I think. Okay. You know what you got yourself into before y'all started. Right. Right. You know. Right in that level so you yeah. probably met her that way you can't in the first place you, you know can't meet her when she got this on then when you get her you yeah. try to you know try make her change her, it up yeah i have a christmas sweater on all day i ain't no. <laughs> not a christmas sweater <laughs> accepting a drink from a guy at the bar just a drink it's just a drink i say it's a do okay it's a free drink okay females are known to get free drinks at the club or at the bar it's a drink Okay. If, if they go past it, then okay, don't. Okay. You, you should, the female should know when to. All right. Bye. Cut that shit. Okay. Uh, dancing with other guys at the club. I think that depends on your type of relationship. Okay. Your um, your type of relationship. Yeah. Um. I don't see. I'm. I'm gonna say I don't mind it if you're out with your boys and you get a dance from a girl, whatever. As long as it doesn't go further than that. But so what about you? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say it's a don't. I'm gonna say it's a don't. That's it's a cause don't. Cause a lot of issues. It's okay. Cause a lot of issues. I'm gonna say don't. Do you do? Do you practice this? Like when you go out and you, you know, like say you're cuffed up, you know, like do you be dancing on all other guys? Mm -hmm. No. I don't. Okay. I've seen it happen. Though. I'm not gonna say, but I've seen it happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that shit cheating. <laughs> That's just cheating. Call. I guess it depends on people's relationships in there. I it's just it's a lot. That's debatable. It's really debatable. Can I look at it as it's the same thing as if I'm sitting so I'm, I'm sitting down somewhere and a girl just comes sit on my lap. Okay, yeah, that's that. Nice. That's, that's cheating, that's, that's, ain't that's it? A, that's a no, no. Yeah, that's a no, no. exactly. Exactly. Some people be like, oh no, it's just dancing. No, it's, <laughs> it's dry humping is what it is. <laughs> okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I say it's a dump. It's a dump. Okay. Do it. Oh, so what do you consider cheating? What do I consider cheating? Um, texting on the flirting level. Mm. I mean, everything you shouldn't be doing. If you got to question it and you feel bad about what you're doing, then it's cheating. That's if fact. you're not going to go home and tell what they tell you, tell them what you were doing, then it's cheating. Right, right. I say, I say, um, don't do anything that you wouldn't want your partner doing. Exactly. Which can vary sometimes. Cause people could be like, oh, I wouldn't mind. Like, nah, mm -hmm. you mind. So, yeah. The tech, I mean, you shouldn't be further in no conversation with nobody that, on that level. Right. That's where it all begins, so. Exactly. The flirting, you know, sending emojis, all that shit. Mm-hmm. So going back to the army, uh, do you fear any backlash from you know posting and uh, putting out such raw material? Mm. Can I no. watch your videos? No, I don't. A little raw. They are raw. Look, they're, they're a little raw. <laughs> they are a little explicit. I don't know. No, I don't. 
Okay. Everyone has lives outside of the army. Exactly. You shouldn't fear. You should yeah. like, some people do. They're like, oh, I don't want to be seen in that light. Yeah. It's like, nah. Like, as long as you're not saying nothing like mm -hmm. crazy, crazy. Right. It's one thing to be exp explicit, but right. it's one thing to be like offensive to like right. groups of people and shit like that. So. Yeah, no, I don't feel no type of way. Because that uniform and civilian life is totally different people. <laughs> Exactly. You gotta, you gotta switch it up sometime. Okay, I'm going back to your friend zone video. Okay. And you said usually when you put a guy in a friend zone, you said to your knowledge you haven't brought anybody out. So, the question is, can someone work their way out the friend zone? Yeah, I know you said that you haven't brought anybody out. Yeah, I haven't, but yeah, you can definitely bring somebody out the friend zone. I think, I think so. I think so. You can build a friendship for, obviously you gotta... Usually people build build a friendship before they build a relationship. Right, usually. Usually, or some people just, just hop right into hop it. Hop right into it. Right. Yeah, but mm, I think all the male friends that I have, they we are we are friends. Like I haven't brought nobody out of that. Okay. Mm. How do you feel about if you're in a relationship and your significant other has a lot of friends of the opposite sex? I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's, if they're meeting a lot, if they're meeting them after us, like, okay. New friends. Yeah, you need to. <laughs> but if they were before me and they had a pressure before me, then no, I don't care. What about like them hanging out with them? Like, like hey, I'm about to go to, I'm about to go to, you know, lunch with. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Yeah. I, I just, I'm really big on trust. If I was meant to see and if it was meant to, Happen, it was meant to happen, so that's just how I am. Okay. If it's done in the dark, it will come to the light. It definitely will come to the light, mm -hmm. for sure. Have you got adjusted <laughs> to moving around from you know state to state and having to say goodbye to people you've you know you've met, you've grown friendship with, friendships with, and now you have to pretty much start all over in a sense. I've gotten used to moving around, yeah. Um, but leaving the people that I like built friendships with, no, I have not got used to it. I miss my friends like every day. Right. So no, I don't mind moving around because I get to see like the world. Like that's kind of another reason why I joined because I wanted to travel too. Mm -hmm. But um, the friendships that I have like built, like those are some true friendships that I will never, ever, ever, ever um forget. So I and feel the that. best friends like. To this day, to now, like solid. I feel you. Mm -hmm. That's the friendships where we're like y'all can not see each other for years, mm -hmm. and the year, and like y'all reconnect somewhere, and y'all pick back up. Just right. like you know. we Facetime at least like once a week, twice a week, every day. <laughs> is it is 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 it hard to maintain those friendships? You know, even though you have your own stuff going on no. here. No, you know. not for us. We all know we um busy and got lives but no we we make sure we keep our bonds strong all the time okay yeah i can maybe with other people like we don't really care about but us like right. my group of friends like no we locked and that's just that's what i love about us we locked like i know i can count on them they count me no question that's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. not a lot of people get that Nah, you're right not a lot of people get that you search for it and then people envy that type of stuff people definitely envy that yeah, it's different when you got a group of friends you can depend on. Mm -hmm. and that's solid. Yeah. Could be Some people will never get that. They won't. That's sad. That is true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so for the YouTube channel, you are how many videos deep right now? Four. 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 I just started a little over a month ago. Okay. So what's next for the YouTube channel? Like my next topic. Like what's the from here on out? Like what's the direction? I'm just going with the flow for real. I don't know. <laughs> okay. You just figuring out as you go. Yeah, for real. I really am. Um, my next video, I'm going to bring a male into it. So, okay. male perspective on a topic. When could we be uh, expecting that video? Uh, I, I'm trying to keep up every two weeks, okay? So, okay. Bear with me. my last video took me uh, three weeks to put up. But I think you should drop every week. <laughs> I could. You should. I should. You should. I could do that. What was the last video you dropped? Which one was it? Friend zone. The friend zone? Mm -hmm. That was, I dropped out on this thing. 
Mm. Oh shit, what just today? Okay. Sorry. I didn't even know it was yesterday. I just happened <laughs> to see it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. That was the one I dropped yesterday, so I'm definitely going to drop another one in about a week and a half. I've been looking forward to it. Uh, I wish uh, you know YouTube uh, paid nothing but success. Thank you. Uh, I, I see big things for it, and uh, Nia Simone. Thank you. Is there anything you want to plug? Um, no, thank you. I appreciate you having me here. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs>